While the pandemic has sidelined many runs and walks, one of central Indiana's most popular just got the green light. It does have a lot of changes, so our Mary Mills tonight tells us how the drumstick dash will be run this Thanksgiving. Go! It's the largest Thanksgiving Day run in Indiana and Wheeler Mission's largest fundraiser. Last year, the drumstick dash through Broad Ripple drew some 20,000 people, and this year? It is a go. We're so excited. Wheeler Mission's Steve Kerr says they just got approval from the Marion County Health Department for a scaled down version. So it will be a lot different, um, but at least we're able to put on some event to keep the tradition alive. It will be a far smaller event with several safety measures in place. Kerr says there will be two start times, one at 8 a.m., the other at 10, with each start limited to 3,000 people and masks required at the start and finish lines. There won't be water stations and there won't be an expo. We just cannot offer that crowd of an event uh, safely. Instead, the shirts, here's the design, along with chips and bibs, will be mailed to participants. The last few years, the Dash has raised roughly a million dollars for Wheeler to help those experiencing homelessness. We are going to take a hit this year. Even though they won't make nearly as much money this year, Kerr says he's still grateful with every single penny raised going to Wheeler. Yeah, that's why this year, even more important than years in past, because um, you know, it's an income producer for us, and we desperately need that this year with the pandemic. We've had to hire more staff. We've had to hire temporary staff to come in and help. He's hopeful between the live and virtual runs, the Dash will remain a favorite holiday tradition with an important mission.